Zombie Invasion Part 2 The safe zone felt more and more like a prison every day. We all heard rumors about a hidden government lab in the city. A place that might have answers about the outbreak and maybe even a way to fix it. Curiosity and a bit of fear pushed some of us to decide to go out and find this place to see if the rumors were true. Getting to the lab was a mission on its own. We sneaked through the city, not just a bunch of broken buildings and streets full of danger. We had to dodge those monstrous creatures everywhere we went. Every corner we turned, we would see another one. And we also had to dodge the other survivors out there, who were just as dangerous and wanted to take everything we had. As we got closer to the lab, we saw just how bad things had gotten. The city, which used to be full of life, was now just a shadow of itself. But the lab was different. It was still working and functional, with people guarding it who was still doing the research on the outbreak. Inside the lab, we met a head scientist, a guy who everyone said knew a lot about how the outbreak started. He told us it began with an experiment that went wrong. They were close to making a cure for what had happened, but they needed something special from the most dangerous parts of the city. We felt like we had to help, armed with some really advanced weaponry and a map with a lot of secret hints, we headed back into the night. The city had turned into a scary jungle with threats hiding around every single corner. It was sad what our reality had become and the full pressure of what I had to deal with just unfolded on me. Our mission took us underground through tunnels and old subway systems that nobody remembered or used anymore. Down there, we saw some really strange things glowing mushrooms and signs that people were holding secret meetings within this area. The most important part of our journey was in this old lab under a park. It was full of weird bottles and notes. We found we were looking for in there, but then, all of a sudden, we were attacked by a creature that was nothing like what we'd ever seen before. It must have been one of their weird experiments they were holding. Getting out of there was insanely tough. We fought hard, dodging falling rubble and ran as fast as we possibly could, barely escaping with the component of the cure. It felt like if I was in a movie with so many close calls. Back at the lab, our people were extremely grateful for us. After all, we had brought back the key ingredient for the cure. Soon as they made the first batch, we helped get it out to as many people in the city. It felt like we were finally making a real difference in the insanely impacted world we now live in. Standing here now, looking at the city that's starting to get back on its feet, I think about everything we've been through. We did more than just survive. We helped change things for the better. The world might never be the same, but what's coming next could be something really good. It's all thanks to the unstoppable spirit of our people who never gave up.